You have prayed all you could, called on God several times, fasted for weeks just so he could show you signs or say something about a particular person that you've been asking about. No, normally God speaks in everything that you are doing, but on the particular issue that you need his answers more than ever, God has chosen to be quiet. You get frustrated because you are at lost for what you are supposed to do right now. Does he want you to move forward, let go or keep holding on to that person? Is the person his will for you or not? The more you think about all these questions in your mind, the more you get desperate because you want to speak to him. When in this middle of a situation like this, we find it hard to comprehend the reasons as to why God is silent about that. When he knows that you need his response, beloved, we must come to understand that the ways of God are not the ways of man, neither are his thoughts our thoughts, so it is completely not possible that you get to understand what he is doing, but you can be at ease because you know that he has good plans for you and that even when he decides to be silent, he is still speaking softly in it. You just need to open your heart and spiritual ears to hear it. Although we cannot fully understand the ways of God, we can say that when you have prayed and prayed about a particular person and he is still silent, there are some reasons as to why, and even though you don't fully understand and accept those reasons, you can still trust him. If this is your situation right now, that you have prayed for a particular person but God is too silent, here are some of the reasons why he is. One of the reasons why God has been silent about that person is because it is not yet the right time. Most of us don't like hearing this. We don't like to hear when God is saying, wait, my child, it's not yet the perfect. We are more concerned about how to get answers to our prayers here and now. Sorry to disappoint you, God would always work these ways. God gives us the ability to make a choice in every situation, either to do your own way or wait for his will for you to be done. I don't need to tell you that you have to wait for the will of God to be done in your life is the best decision you will ever make. As a believer, we all know who God is. We have seen the things that he has done to people who have waited for the perfect time that he has set for a thing to come to pass in their life. So why will yours be different? When God really wants you to push through with that person, he will speak or show you signs about that person you've been praying about. You just need to wait. You can be with the right person at the wrong time and when you force things to happen that time, you later end up destroying what God has prepared for you. I know you feel that if you don't seize the opportunity right now, it might never come to pass, but you and I know that it's not true. We know that God is the owner of time and he controls the whole universe, so he's capable of fixing time. He knows just when the perfect time for you to be with that person is. If you trust God, also believe in his ability to make everything beautiful in his own time. Remember, God is never late or too early. He's always on time. When it's the right time, he will speak. Another reason why God has been silent about that person is because he or she is not the right one for you. There are times that because of how fragile our hearts is and the need to be loved by someone, we end up concluding that they are the right one for us. Just because he or she shows you a little amount of love mean that you both are meant for each other. The desperation to get married makes singles see true love in every simple thing that someone does for them. It could even be possible that you are already in the relationship with a person and you could see all the red flags. Still, you're not bothered by them because you need to get married. If your heart was really at peace with the person in your life, you would not have been bothered about the reason that God is silent. It's because you know that a tiny voice in your heart is telling you that you're about to make a mistake of a lifetime. That is why you desperately want to hear from God. My dear, God cares for you even more than you care about yourself. So blinded by your need for a mate that you don't see his love. He loves you this much to prevent you from making a mistake and he still gives you the ability to make a choice. God doesn't choose a spouse for you. He only presents and allows you to choose, but... Like you know already that even the devil is going to present you his own candidate too and will give you enough reasons why you should choose them. If God is silent about the person, it's because he loves you so much. He does not want you to marry the wrong person. Be still and sensitive in the spirit. The voice of God is still speaking even in silence. Don't feel rushed and don't get tired of waiting for him to speak. Trust him and follow him step by step. Don't let anyone pressure you to the point that you would be forced to settle for that person. 
a godly and a happy home is the goal and you will get it. If God wants you to be with this person, trust me, you would know, even in the silence. Also, God has been silent about that person because of the way that you've been asking him. Most of us, the way we go to God in prayer and asking him for something is the reason why he has been silent on that issue. It's not because he does not see that you need an answer or he does not see the pain that you are in and also how to confuse you trust me, he does. Just like how our earthly parents respond to our need depending on the approach that we use to ask, the same thing that God does. We know you need an answer as soon as possible, but do you have to shout? Some of us enter his gate with shouting, demanding him to give us an answer. We see God as this genie who has no other choice than to answer your request. Well, sorry to disappoint you, whether God decides to answer you or not, it simply does not change the fact that he remains God forever and ever. So, you better calm down and start changing your manner of approach. Others are the type that enter into his gates complaining about the issue. You go on for hours nagging about why he has not answered you in regards to that person, forgetting that he is God, that when he says he will do a thing, he will surely do, but it must not come in a way you... The Bible speaking in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says, Do not fret or have any anxiety about anything, but in every circumstance and everything, by prayer and petition, definite requests, with thanksgiving, continue to make your wants known to God. We make our request known to God by being thankful first, entering his gates with thanksgiving and seeing the way he will speak speedily about that person when you appreciate him for the things he has done and for what he's about to do. God will simply have to answer you. If you are tired of praying and want him to answer you concerning that person, why not start to appreciate him for answering already and see how he answers? Complaining about it to him would not make him speak, but your thanks will. Lastly, God has been silent about the person because you ask with the wrong motive. Many of us want to get married because our friends are getting married, to escape the family pressure or to even prove a point to someone, but while amid all the wrong motive that we are asking God about the person, we still want to hear what he thinks so that we can tell ourselves that we're doing the right thing. Most times you don't even care about what the other person's wants are or how they will feel when they know the real reason why you want to be with them. It's because you are a believer and somehow you still want to do right with God. That's why you're asking him about the person. The same way you're his child, same way that other person is also his child. Until you change your motive, God will be silent. He cares for you and also for the other person. God speaks even in silence. We only need to be sensitive to understand it.